Does 5 thirds plus 3 fifths equal 1? No! Or does it? Ah, much better! In other words, can we find x and y such that x over y plus y over x equal 1? Certainly not 5 and 3. But maybe there are other solutions to this. So here, let's put it on a common denominator. So x times x, those equis, or rather equis quadrado, plus y squared over xy equals 1. And so cross multiplying, you then end up getting x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 0. Which is very interesting because this is a quadratic function in x. And in particular, this will allow us to solve for y in terms of x. So here, x is minus b, so y, plus minus square root of minus y squared, so y squared, minus 4ac, so 4 times y squared, over 2, which now becomes, so y squared minus 4y squared, that's minus 3y squared. And so in particular what we get, x is y plus minus, so square root of minus 1, that's i, so square root of 3i, and square root of y squared, that's absolute value of y, but because of the plus minus, it doesn't really matter, so y over 2. And what's really cool is that we can write this a little bit more explicitly, so this is y times 1 half plus minus square root of 3 over 2i. And you may recognize this as cosine of 60 degrees and sine of 60 degrees. And in fact, in terms of complex exponentials, this is just ei pi over 3 plus minus times y. And in fact, here you have infinitely many solutions for any number y, even complex, to get x, you just rotate y by 60 degrees, or pi over 3, to get x. Or you rotate it by minus pi over 3, maybe here, to get x. And this is in sharp contrast with the equation x over y plus y over x equals 0 which looks very different because now we can put it on a common denominator x squared plus y squared over xy equals zero so cross multiplying you get x squared plus y squared equals zero now in the real realm this only has a trivial solution zero zero which uh, doesn't even make sense here 1 over 0 is not defined. But the cool thing is in complex number you can, get, you can go a step further because this is x squared minus i squared y squared equals 0. So x minus i y times x plus i y equals 0. And so x is plus minus i y. And in this case, it's really cool because we have another neat geometric interpretation. Because what is i? It's just rotation by pi over 2. And therefore, again, given a point y, you can get the corresponding point x just by rotating it either by 90 degrees or by minus 90 degrees. And essentially, it just boils down to the fact that, in this case, x over y is i, and then y over x is 1 over i, that this equals 0. If you replace this 1 with a 2, it becomes much easier, because here we have x squared plus y squared over xy equals 2. So x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals 0, 
which now becomes a perfect square. So x minus y squared equals 0. So the only values that make this true is if y equals x. And in fact, x over x plus x over x, that is true, too. So not necessarily complex here. Yeah. And in fact, if you don't believe me, let's check that this equation is true. Well, x over y plus y over x, that is ei pi over 3, y over y plus y over ei pi over 3, uh, y. So this cancels out, and then you just end up with e i pi over 3 plus e minus i pi over 3, which is 1 half plus square root of 3 over 2i plus 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2i. The evil imaginary parts cancel out, and you get 1 half plus 1 half, which is 1. And same thing works if you do minus i pi over 3 and minus i pi over 3. So we do have similar looking equations with similar or different phenomenon, which I think that's what makes math so cool. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.